Saudamos a todos com a paz do Senhor Jesus. To all with the peace of the Lord Jesus. In reverence to the word of God, let's stand. And let's open our Bibles. Psalms 137. We're going to read the verse number 5 and 6. Psalms 137, 5 and 6. God says if I forget you O Jerusalem let my right hand forget its skill if I do not remember you let my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if I do not exalt Jerusalem above my chief joy Lord we bless you for the fellowship through the blood of Jesus and to allow us to enter in the Holy of Holies. Bring joy to our hearts and through your word visit us, bless us. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. The church may be seated. This song that we just sang The song per se brings a message about what the Lord wants to make us for tonight. But there is another song, and the other song says, From the beautiful land I am far, said I am, I miss Jesus, when am I going? And in the same song, there was another phrase, but his broad makes me clean, and to my land I'll go. Here, the psalmist, servant of God, who has a lot of intimacy in prayer, in adoration, a man that can play his instrument to praise to his God and now he was distant from his land from his nation and to be far from his land from his nation Jerusalem the word says that he seated and cry And many times, when we are far from our land, our homeland, and we can say that because here the majority, we are Brazilians, we miss our homeland, our country, our city, the places we're born. It's natural. The friends that we left, family members, But here, in this psalm, the servant of God, he was talking about a specific city. He was talking about a city of the great king, the city of David, the city where the temple war was, the temple that was built to adore, to glorify, and to show the thankfulness for God for all the benefits that he has done for this country, for that nation. And as we look to Jerusalem, we see that the Jerusalem is a project for all families of the earth. 
as for in the past, the Lord approached to Abraham and says, In you all the family of the earth will be blessed. And this promise that was made to Abraham showed that in that place, Jerusalem, the son of Abraham will be sacrificed. You all know this history. But God did not, did not let that happen. But the, the own son of God would not be spared. So through the sacrifice and blood, he could help and bless all the families of the earth. And this verse that we just read says, If I forget you, O Jerusalem, it's talking about a project from eternity, eternal project, a plan from God to all the mankind. In the Psalms 87, there is another expression about Jerusalem. It talks about Zion, the Moriah Mountain related to Jerusalem. He, this one and that one born there. And later on, God says, and the Lord, when he make the description of the people, he will say he is born there. So we see that God, he knows the ones that are born there. The Bible says that when they did the description of the people, of the nations, God in the Bible says he came to save people from all tribes, languages, nations, and he knows who was born there in Jerusalem. And when we look at the word of God in John, from the ones that didn't born by the will of man or flesh, but gave the power to be son of God to the ones that believe in his name. So here it talks about a moment. The servant of the Lord that was live, living physically far from Jerusalem, but his soul was attached to Jer Jerusalem, connected to the plan, to the project of God. It was distant physically, but spiritually, the, the great concern of them, of him, was if I forget you. So the, the priority is to not forget Jerusalem, even though they're not in Jerusalem. So when we, when we meditate upon the Word of God, we see that many people that are born in Jerusalem who generated within the project of God when they were raptured to Babylon, they deviated from the project. We know very well the story of four friends, Daniel, Azarias, Mishael, and Hananias, or Sadrach, Mezak, and Abednego. The, those men, they were in Babylon, but they connected to Jerusalem. And in any moment, they forget about Jerusalem. Certain time, someone asked to a Jewish guy, who is Jerusalem? What is Jerusalem? He answered, it's the dream of our dreams. It's the greatest dream of our lives. And the greatest dream of the faithful church, of the ones that were generated within the God's project, the greatest dream, the greatest vision of the ones that understand the project of salvation is to return to Jerusalem. Oh, how I miss land that I love so much. Then he says, if I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget his skills. So what that means? Who is at the right side of God, the Father? 
the Son, our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. So he was talking about a spiritual project, spiritual city. And if he forget that Jerusalem, of the place that he was formed, the place that the Lord revealed his project, then he says, let my right hand forget the skills. And the Bible also mentions something interesting. A mother can forget his children, his child, but I will never forget about you. God never forget the ones that are born in Jerusalem, whoever made the, the pact or covenant, even though they are in strange land. Because the project of God is not related to a property or a piece of land like Israel politically, but the project of God is to take us to a celestial land, to a kingdom that is not of this world. My kingdom is not this world. I'll go to my Father, prepare your place, wherever you are, wherever I am, you can be. So this gentleman who in Babylon, and Babylon is a problem, it's difficult, it's struggle, it's trials. The servant of God, he cannot be happy in Babylon because the situation is not according to a servant of the Lord. But no matter where, a servant of God can be Israel, Brazil, China. If he is connected to the project, God will preserve him in life and he will bless him. If I forget about you, O Jerusalem, my right hand forgets skill, that my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth. And talk here about the man that forget Jerusalem so that the tongue will be clinging to the roof of the mouth. What that means, when your mouth gets stuck, when, is, when you lack of water, when you dehydrated, my soul is thirsty of the living God. When can I present myself before his face? So here, brethren, if a man forgets Jerusalem, even though God has a great project for his life, so the tongue will not get stuck to the roof of the mouth. Why not? Because tonight, God is reminding us about Jerusalem, which is our greatest joy. Jesus says, in the world you'll be having afflictions, but be of a good courage. I conquered the world. And if I not prefer Jerusalem as my greatest joy, what is your greatest joy? What is my greatest joy? The greatest joy of a servant of the Lord is to be assured that one day he will be with his master. Do you know what salvation is? It's to feel a great joy. The, 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 the happiness of salvation is the satisfaction to know that one day you will be with your God, with your maker. So here he makes this supplication and he recognizes that he needs to not forget his master. Sometimes we leave our countries, we cross the, the ocean, and sometimes we make our commitments, our priorities, our plans, our dreams, targets, everything's okay. Since you don't forget Jerusalem. As far as you, you don't forget the project, spiritual product of God for your life. That Jesus one day died on a cross to take you to this great city, to this place 
dwelling place. So get my tongue, cling to the roof of my mouth if I do not exalt Jerusalem above everything. I invite the church to stand. Let's have a word of praise to the Lord. Lord, in this moment... For this great day, Thank you for in there, there will be no tears, no suffering. You're going to be taking care of us, comforting us. Thank you for preparing this house for us, this place for us. Thank you for the special food that you provide to us tonight. We praise you for everything that you have. O Senhor revelou um homem. Ele tem sentido muita saudade do Brasil. Entrou nesta noite aqui neste lugar e com o coração aflito, angustiado, devido a toda essa saudade. For this feeling. And he decided to come tonight because of this feeling. An angel sit by his side and he start to show him the eternity. As ruas de ouro, 
o rio de cristal, a paz, a segurança. E ele começava agora a sentir saudade da eternidade, não mais do Brasil. E ele dizia em seu coração, eu quero estar nessa eternidade hoje. E entregava o seu coração ao Senhor Jesus. O Senhor, o senhor mostrava uma senhora que veio pela primeira vez aqui na igreja. E ao chegar aqui, o anjo já aguardava. E mostrava a sua necessidade. Ela veio em busca de uma bênção para o seu lar, para a sua casa, para o seu matrimônio. E nesta noite o Senhor falava a esta senhora, a esta mulher, que ao retornar para a sua casa, toda angústia, toda tribulação, toda tempestade já havia. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Aleluia. 
Glory to God. Holy, holy, holy are thou, O Lord. Praise to the Lord. We adore you, Father. We bless your holy name. As for once again tonight, you have delivered us under your promise and you make us remember Jerusalem and the desire it's in our minds and souls. We bless you as for tonight. We can see, we can, we can feel the joy when we're there. We bless you for the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, at the cross. For one, one more time, to have an opportunity to feel a ship in your flock, O oh Lord. For this project in our lives tonight. Thank you for this people that born in Jerusalem and one day will come back there. Give us a blessed week, delivering us of all evil and violence. Provide deliverances and victories for your people. And in your name we say that the grace of our Savior Jesus, the love of God the Father, and the eternal consolations of the Holy Spirit can be upon us now and forevermore. Amen. The church may be seated. We are closing this service and you that are coming today for the first time, be welcome. We have services Thursday night, Saturday and Sunday, 7.30 in the night, and Sunday morning, our Sunday school teaching at 10.30. You are welcome to all our activities in adoration to our God. Wednesday through Zoom, the ladies' meeting as well. Whoever desires to participate, there is no problem at all. If you want to pray, if you want to have a word of understanding, bad understanding, give us a signal with your hands. We can identify when we can go to give you the assistance accordingly. This month, we call the month of dedication. This week, we'll have noon service, whatever you are. Whatever you were, and by noon, take some moments to make your intercessions. Amen.